Hello, welcome to episode 4 of Comfy UI tutorial. In this episode, I will teach you how to do an in paint technique in Comfy UI to let you uh, modify the image in the way that you want. Okay, oh, so let's get started. Okay, and we will try to generate some image first. For the first image, I will generate beautiful Thai woman wearing white t-shirt. Okay, and uh, this is my setting. And we hit Q prompt. Okay, to generate some image first with this setting and uh, this model, you will got this picture. Okay, uh, if you really love this picture, but you want to change something about this picture. Okay, for example, you want the t-shirt to be have some kind of graphic on the t-shirt or, or you might want to change the hair color if you want to change hair color okay you actually you can put the prompt in the positive prompt uh, blonde hair okay blonde, blonde hair however if you change the prompt if you change the prompt and hue prompt you might get another picture okay this is not the same okay this is the problem of using prompt to to change hair color if you okay with this result it's up to you however if you really love the first picture okay if you really love the first picture you love the face the composition and everything but you you only want to change hair color you have to do an impaint to fix this Actually, there are many techniques that you can do an in paint in Comfy UI. I will start from the uh, most simple one first and then try to show you the more complicated one later, okay? First, the first method you start with the load image. The load image node, I already told you in the previous episode that you can, you can browse new image in this node. Or you can simply copy paste, okay? With this load image, I will uh, copy and paste the image here, okay? And then in the load image, you can right click and open in mask editor, okay? In the mask editor, you can put the mask, which is uh, the, the black area with left click and you can uh, use the right click to clear okay left left click to fill right click to clear and you also can change the thickness okay if you want to change the hair color you you have to mask the area of the hair that you want to change okay you mask the hair color first and then you click save to node okay when you click save to node this node will have two output which is image and mask with mask if you drag out there will be many nodes that you can choose however you you might find that you have this VAE encode for in pen which is not the one that I recommend okay the one that I recommend is set latent noise mask okay. this one this one can uh, can help you generate the image within the input area which work better than VAE encode for in paint okay it's much better you can try by yourself but I will not show you with this node it's output as latent so you have to generate generate the the new stuff again with K sampler. So I will copy paste the K sampler and put the Latin in Latin image. Okay. And for the model, I will use the model, the first model. Okay. For uh, negative, I will use the existing one. It's okay. However, but for positive, this one is mean we want to have uh, blonde hair right we have to put another prompt 
Okay, so I drag the positive out and choose clip text and code. Okay, and put blonde hair, blonde hair in this. Okay, put blonde hair in the positive. And this one require clip. You drag clip. Okay, and you can output the latent with VAE decode. Okay, and you can preview or save image. Okay. And this one require VAE, so we plug VAE. And you left with this one, the sample, right? The sample, this one need latent, okay? This one need latent. If you already have latent from the previous case sampler, you can use it, okay? If you don't have the previous case sampler, you can convert this image to uh, latent use VAE encode and put latent in this this one is also okay okay uh, this one can use this image and convert to latent or you can use latent from previous case sampler it works fine both way okay with this and I will uh, hit generate or hit Q prompt this will try to in paint only the area of the hair okay and you you got blonde hair you got one hair you got blonde hair only in the area of the mask okay however with this setting it's the noise one this mean it will change a lot if you want to lower the 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 change only maybe you you can lower the denoise to be 0 0.5 and then Q prompt again. This will change only 50%, right? It might look more natural, okay? It might look more natural. And of course, if you want to change another stuff like the graphic on the t-shirt, uh, you can uh, copy this result and paste back to the original load image one okay however if you do this uh, the mask will be destroyed you have to edit the mask again which is okay for me because i want to mask another area okay with this one i want to mask the the area on the t-shirt and maybe i will prompt something about the the graphic on the t-shirt okay i want the flower graphic on white t-shirt so let's try okay uh, with this one they, it will try to put the flower on the on the t-shirt uh, well if, if you want to change more okay you maybe put uh, more denoise maybe 0.75 and try again okay okay this one has um, more graphic on the t-shirt you can play with this stuff okay and you can play with the prompt okay you maybe want pink flower graphic you can specify anything okay and it will be pink well I, I noticed that the the mask area is too much in this it's too close so we can edit the mask to be have to have the better result and try again. Okay. Yes. So we got the maybe better graphic. And of course you can change the seed to be random and try many stuff. Okay. If you random the seed, the result will definitely change. Okay. Maybe the better one. Okay. This is the First method with this very simple. You you have to mask the area by yourself and you put the prompt and change the result. So I will explain you the second method which I like more than this method. Okay, so let's go for the second method. For the second method, you have to download more custom nodes, okay? So you have to use manager and to use the more advanced technique to in paint you 
should install custom node first. The first one is Comfy UI Impact Pack. This one you can install. Then if uh, if it's finished, it will tell you to restart Comfy UI. Okay. You close and then you close the bat file and restart. And we will install many things for you. Okay. And you should wait. And it might download something for you. Okay. Okay. And then after that, after finish everything, if you want to uh, use the more advanced in paint feature, okay. Uh, for example, this image, I will browse for the, the one that this is the uh, original one, right? This is the original one. And then the second method that I want to explain to you is after you install the custom node, the impact pack custom node, you can right click on any image and then click open in sand detector. Okay. With this tool, it can help you detect the object automatically. Okay. For example, if I want to detect the shirt, I can click at the shirt and detect. However, this one this detection also include the face, the hair, and the skin of the girl. It may be the model uh, understand that we want the whole area of this girl, but we don't want this big, right? So we can clear the area first and then put the confidence higher. If the confidence higher, it will detect more precise. Like if we only click on the shirt and detect, okay, it will detect only the shirt, okay, and okay, if we lower the confidence like this and detect, we detect many things, right? We can also use the right click to exclude some area, okay, right click to exclude is also work. However, I think to use the higher confidence maybe better in this case okay after we use this detection you if you okay with this you click save to note okay save to note and then after this you can also manually adjust the mask in mask editor it's the same right this area it has some some kind of little black dot you can right click to clear it and this area you can put more mass, okay? You can adjust something to make it perfect uh, suit your need. And you click save to note. Now you have the mass area only the shirt, okay? So I want to make it uh, maybe yellow shirt, yellow shirt, and then try to to prompt. I will try to change the area to be yellow sh shirt for you okay and it also put the the pants for you actually if we hit q prompt multiple times it will kill the prompt you can look at the queue with this button view queue and you see the queue some queue is running some queue is pending you can cancel the running queue or you can delete the pending queue okay with this view queue Okay, and it generate many uh, yellow shirt in in this result with this random seed, so the result may change. And you can also lower the noise, the denoise value to be maybe zero point four five, and zero again. It will change only a little bit, so maybe it's too low to to be able to change the color, right? So you may put 0 0.55 to let it able to change the color of the shirt, or you can put it more to let it change more. Okay, it's up to you. However, with this approach, you can see that the result in the edge area of the mask is still white, okay? 
However, if you want to get the better result from this, you have to expand the mass a little bit, right? Because uh, this mass is too close to the edge of the shirt. It's not uh, cover entire shirt, okay? So if you want to expand it, you can do it. Maybe one way is to do it manually by use mass editor and you change the area to cover the edge, okay, a little bit. And another method is to use the node that we can install, which is called uh, mass coverage, okay? If you install custom node and you search the mass, they will mass coverage node. This one you install first and restart Config UI. After you install the mass coverage node, you can use the node in mass coverage node, okay? There will be the one called mask morphology. Okay, this one can expand the area of the mask However, you have to put the mask as the image. So you drag the mask out, okay? This one is original mask from the detection, right? And you use mask to image and convert it to image first. And this one will expand the area of the mask. And then we have to put the mask back into this one, right? So we disconnect this one, delete, okay? And we have to convert the image back to mask, which I recommend to use the mask red node again and use the image to mask, okay? Drag to V image and drag the mask. If this, if you use this setting, it will expand the the area of the, the mask by 5 pixels, right? And then you kill prompt again. The result should look better because it uh, already includes the edge area more, okay? If you want more, you, you, you can actually increase the area. Maybe 7 or 8 or something, okay? And you try again. The area will increase a little bit, okay? And look for the result that you satisfy. This is the second method, which a little bit adjustment about the mask. And for the final final method that I want to explain to you in this clip is something called clip set. Okay, clip set. To use the clip set, okay, you 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 have to install the the clip set custom node first okay after that you can use the clip set so i will get rid of the this mask first okay and then i will uh let's try this mask first okay i open in mask editor and clear and save to node okay this is how we let's try the mask to use the clip set you add node uh, or you search for clip set, okay? Clip set can uh, input the image to clip set and then it can output the mask and can also show you the heat map of the mask. Like uh, if in the clip set node, you can put the text, which is the thing that you want to mask. For example, I want to mask the shirt Okay, the shirt and then if we try to connect this mask and we try to preview the heat map mask okay and preview the black and white mask to see the result and then try to Q prompt this node will try to detect the area for you by the text okay and it will load uh, a little bit. Okay, you see, this clip set is very powerful. Okay, you can set the blur, the threshold, and dilation factor. Dilation factor is some kind of the area to expand out. So this one is automatically. It can detect the shirt, right? Okay, and then with this detection, 
is generate the new stuff for you okay already finished the result is i think is i think it's okay right however if you want to uh, adjust the mask you can use use this black and white mask to do something later with mask red again okay for the conclusion if you want to in paint in configure i i recommend that you use this node set latent noise mask which require the mask okay require the mask and the latent sample okay so if you use this node you have to provide the mask area and the mask area can come by many ways the first way is you to manually paint the area in the mask editor right the second way is to use sam detector and the third way is to use use clip set to detect by the text that you want okay and you get the mask if the mask is not what you like you can edit manually or, or you can use mask correct node to modify it and you output this latin to another case sampler and this one you can use another positive prompt to specify what you want in the area and then it will generate the new image based on this prompt okay only in the in paint area this is the in paint so if you have any question about this episode you can ask in the comment and you can also can request the topic that i that you need to learn more in the future episode i will do it for you okay for this time thank you for stay until the end bye bye